My first memory of Colorado Springs is of a smiling face leaning from a tall, gray house. This was Kathy Casey welcoming us to what would become our hometown. It was 1990, and the smile would beget many more in the coming decades. To visit Kathy's house was to be with friends. The basement was a playground for relics and records from all over the world, adventures she shared with us in coins and dollars from other countries. Her back deck was a window to Cheyenne Mountain and the chimes of Will Rogers' shrine. Kathy created a mecca for fireworks, grilled steaks, seven-layer dip, and glazed brownies. For us, the tall house was the home away from home, and Kathy the aunt to all she welcomed inside. She brought people together, personally and professionally, with laughs, love, and wisdom. On Monday, September 16th, Kathy passed away after a long battle with illness. I can't say it was the right time. Is it ever? But it happened. She was unwell, and now she is not. My mother stayed by her side, and even though Kathy was asleep, I hope it gives Kathy's loved ones comfort that she wasn't alone. It does for me. If you knew Kathy, you knew her as a legend. She nurtured Olympians. She turned dreams into medals and careers. I was tangential to the blood, sweat, and tears of U.S. figure skating. Yet we found family in one another. As my mother's coach and friend of 56 years, Kathy was the sort of family you discovered along the way. Kathy remembered her friends until the end. I count myself lucky that she did. In return, we'll remember her. Let's remember the tall house of treasures, the fireworks, the skating lessons, the seminars, and the stories. Let's remember the bottomless closet of Christmas sweaters and the many suns shining on the back deck, looking out at the shrine. Let's hear the chimes and remember her and the love she left in all of us. Kathy, thank you for a lifetime of memories. Love, Kelly.